Hello, good afternoon everyone. Good day. I am Aloren Tejano Neri from DTI Region 10 and today I will be sharing to you one of the activities that we have conducted as part of DTI Region 10's initiative in helping our micro, small and medium enterprises or MSMEs in the time of pandemic through e-commerce. Okay, so let me share my screen to you. The MSME Development Plan provides the overall framework to implement a harmonized approach to MSME development. This agenda envisions more globally competitive MSMEs that are regionally in integrated, resilient, sustainable, and innovative, thereby performing as key drivers of inclusive Philippine economic growth. Supporting the framework are the five strategic goals to help our MSMEs. And these are, first, the improved business climate. Second, the improved access to finance. Third, enhanced management and labor capabilities or capacities. Fourth, improved access to technology and innovation. And fifth, improved access to market. So actually cutting across these strategies is to maximize opportunities in the digital and internet economy. So it is a fact that the pandemic has severely affected MSME's economies in the country and the world. The quarantine, travel restrictions, and other limitations has contributed to decreased production, layoff of workers, and others. We also felt the disruptions in the supply chain and logistics, and the MSMEs faced difficulties in accessing financing, sustaining production, and of course, accessing markets. So, amidst the health situation, DTI seeks to respond to the new normal by strengthening the support system to MSMEs through our 7M strategies. So what are the 7Ms? These are mindset, mastery, mentoring, markets, machines, money, and models. Today, we will be focusing more on markets and later on, we will be specifically talking about how we are approaching the new normal with our programs in terms of helping our MSMEs in marketing their products. So what are some of the DTI programs that help our MSMEs in accessing the market? So first, we have the Autop Next Gen. So what is Autop Next Gen? Autop Next Gen actually comes from, or it is the next level of the One Town, One Product program of TTI, where the MSMEs undergo capability building through trainings, development of their products through improved packaging and labeling as well. Another program is the Ripples Plus. It is a pool of assistance for export-ready businesses. We also have the physical marketing platforms like the Auto Philippines Hub and Go Local stores all over the country and the world. Of course, we have a trade fairs, one of which is DTI Region 10's flagship regional trade fair, the Kahimunan. We also have initiatives for e-commerce, trade facilitation, partnership with other agencies, and other marketing assistance like helping the MSMEs comply with the necessary certifications to ensure the ease of entering new markets. So does the pandemic trigger a change in system in policies and consumer behavior? Of course, it definitely does. So the pandemic has accelerated the innovation which with greater focus on resilience and sustainability. So it offers the new businesses opportunities to discover new, better, and more resilient ways of doing things. So one of which is going online. So enterprises which have greater innovation emerge resilient and even recorded gains amidst the pandemic. This is because they have turned into the virtual world in selling their products. Of course, the government services are also recalibrated to adjust to the new normal. One of DTI Region 10's initiatives in 
the innovation of is the innovation of our annual regional trade fair, the Kahimunan. So before I proceed in talking about our Kahimunan Vertical Trade Fair, please let us watch this video. <music> So for more than 20 years of bringing the products of our region's micro, small, and medium enterprises to the mainstream market, the Tahimunan Regional Trade Fair has successfully promoted the produce of the five provinces of northern Mindanao. So namely, we have Bukidnon, Kamigin, Lano del Norte, Misamis Occidental, and Misamis Oriental to various physical platforms. The Kahimunan is also a registered brand in the Intellectual Property Office. So the products that we feature usually are coffee, cacao, snack food, beverages, processed food, health and wellness products, wearables, and home style, which include bamboo and abaca byproducts. So here are some photos of the physical Kahimunan Regional Trade Fair. So coping with the new normal brought about by the existing pandemic, the Department of Trade and Industry Region 10 initiated the first ever Kahimunan Virtual Trade Fair as one of the core activities of the Higalaay Festival of a City of Golden Friendship, Cagayan de Oro. So this very innovative fair has three main components. First, we have our web store the kahimunan.com or the www.kahimunan.com. We also have our provincial Facebook live selling through our DTI Region 10 Facebook page. And finally, we have our virtual B2B matching through Zoom video conferencing. So the web store is a main platform where the products are displayed along with the necessary details that the buyers need. It is mainly for retail buyers. So its key features include categorized and filtered products. This is to ensure the ease in the user or buyer experience. We also have our buyer side up to allow the buyers to no longer input again their details for repeat orders. We also have our shopping carts where the buyers can check all the products that they have selected. We also have our checkout page, which reflects all the orders of buyers, along with the shipping rates and other details. And of course, we have allowed that this can be paid online through our online payment methods, which includes PayPal, Gcash, PayMaya, and bank transfers. We also ship nationwide to ensure that anybody in the country who accesses the web store can easily purchase our products. Finally, in the back end, we have the analytics on the traffic of the web store along with the most viewed and bought products, among others. 
So helping us in the shipment of the products are the One Town One Product or Autop Philippines Hub in the region. So right now we have hubs in Malaybalay City, Valencia City, Ozami City, Cagayan de Oro City, and Iligan City. This is also part of our initiative in helping our Auto Philippines Hub transition into e-hubs. So we currently, we are, we are helping them through capacity building through trainings, preparation of product photos, preparation of promo collaterals. So this will come in handy in promoting their e-hubs. Of course, we are helping them in the onboarding for cashless payments and partnership with logistic providers. So this can either be local riders or the service providers that ship nationwide. So another component of the Kahimunan is the Facebook Live Selling through DTI Region 10's Facebook page. We took advantage of our pages 20,000 followers in promoting the web store and the event. So what were the advantages of this? Of course, we created public awareness of the web store. Since the web store or kahimunan.com is a new platform, so uh, it is, of course, expected that no one knows yet that this web store exists. So with the help of our Facebook Live selling, people were able to know that we have an existing web store in Region 10 named kahimunan.com. Another one is it featured the local talents of the provinces. So in hosting the event, uh, we tap the local talents of the provinces to host the activity. So to make sure also to draw the crowd. Another one is that uh, it highlighted the stories behind the product. So right now, if a product appeals to the heart of the masses, of course, it is easier to sell it. Another one is it helped generate sales. So, of course, we were not actually really selling there uh, through the Facebook Live selling, but we directed the buyers to kahimunan.com and others. Uh, we provided contact numbers of the auto hubs so they can directly contact the auto hubs for orders. And of course, it, is so, it also included the promotion of the local tourism of the province. So although people cannot travel yet right now, but when all of this is over, at least we have promoted the tourism of the area. Okay, so this uh, platform has helped us generate 37,000 views and reach 116,000 people in a span of five days so because of this there was heavy traffic in our web store so finally the last component is the virtual b2b meeting through zoom video conference so what is this so we have this activity so that we can have a business meeting between institutional or bulk buyers and msmes through video conferencing. So what was the outcome of this activity or component? We have helped a feed meal company match with six farmer cooperatives. So those six are from Bukidnon and Misamis Oriental for raw material supply of corn and cassava. Another one is we have helped match a New York buyer for with our homestyle and wearables producers in Region 10. And finally, we have helped match a producer of Lampakanay with an exporter from Cebu City. Actually, this Lampakanay producer and exporter from Cebu City was matched after the Kahimunan.com period, at the Kahimunan Virtual Trade Fair period. But because of the existence of our kahimunan.com, the exporter learned about the products of the Lampakanay producer through the web store and got interested and wanted to buy more than one product so they can export 
those products as well. So those are just some of the impacts of this activity. So actually, that is the end of my presentation. Of course, the Kahimunan Virtual Trade Fair is just one of the initiatives of DTI Region 10 in helping our MSMEs in coping with the new normal. We also have a plethora of other services that are equally innovative, and we will continue to assist our micro, small, and medium enterprises especially in the midst of this pandemic. Once again, I am Alren Tihano Neri from DTI Region 10. Thank you and stay safe. Thank you so much, Ms. Ayan. And now let's go to our Q&A. So for our first question, what should MSMEs do to become one of the sellers in kahimunan.com? What are the requirements and qualifications needed? Uh, they're found in the website, ma'am, uh, is the directory of the DTI offices. I don't know if you noticed it not the lower part. There's a directory of the DTI offices. So if a business is interested to be in our web store, uh, they can contact the provincial offices and um, ask of their requirements. Uh, but usually, it should be someone that has or a business that has already been assisted by DTI to other programs so we can also make, make sure that they are market ready like for instance at least they have undergone the uh, learning sessions from DTI and of course we have to make sure that their product and volume are market ready so that will be as, uh, assessed through the provincial offices